Hi everybody, Ellie Walsh here. Today I posted on the Facebook page, Living LOA, a question. What are the two most powerful words? Now I've gotten back lots of answers. Thank you. Uh, love yourself. Love and belief. Appreciation. Kindness. Love and trust. Love. Love was a big answer. Now, there's no wrong answers here because those are all powerful words. But the answer I was looking for, the two most powerful words, the most powerful words are I am. I am. The most powerful words. Now, why is that? Because they are making a declaration a declaration a proclamation to yourself to who is ever around you and to the universe I am and they are sending out a vibration so think about what words do you put after those two most powerful words I am have you ever caught yourself or heard somebody else say, I'm such a jerk, or I, I'm such a fool, or I'm so stupid, or I'm depressed, or I am sick, or I am exhausted. And these are declarations that we're, that we're putting out into the universe, and a vibration. Now, the other end of this is, if you're putting out, I am so stupid, I can't believe I am so stupid, there's a story back there, or a belief system that you own, that says you're stupid, or you're not very smart. In, if you're putting out that uh, proclamation of, I am sick, this vibration is going out to the universe of, I am sick. Now, remember what the universe's, the law of attraction's job is, match vibrations. So I'm putting out, I am sick, and the universe is saying, okay, here's some more sickness. So here's the words that we want to be putting after I am. I am an incredible, magnificent creator. I am wise. I am well. Now you say, Ellie, I ain't feeling well. How can I say I am well? Okay, if that, some people can. Some people can say, I am well, I am well, and it resonates with them, even when they don't feel good. But I know for me, if I'm not feeling good, and I say I am well, my brain says, you're a liar. <laughs> so here's the way we use those other words, in the process. I am in the process of feeling better. I am, if you believe that you're not so smart, I am in the process of gathering more information, of being smarter, of gathering more wisdom. Now, here's the real bottom line. You are smart. You just have an old story. And we talk so much about, at the last workshop I just finished up a few weeks ago, about those old stories, that habit of thought that is running our lives. So, 2011... We're going to be talking lots more about that. You can visit me over at retrainyourbrainforsuccess.com because great things are going to be happening for 2011 over there. We're going to have great conversations. But those words, I am, I want you to stop paying attention to what the declaration you are making to the universe you want to be making that declaration of, I am a magnificent, creative creator, a magnificent, blessed being. I am blessed. I am wonderful. I am smart. I am wisdom. And if that doesn't, if that tickles you and annoys you a little bit, then do, I am in the process of. Because you are a magnificent, blessed being. 
You know, I, I just posted the other day of um, you don't have to learn how to create change. You are a creator. You just have to remember that. You just have to come back into that knowing. And the reason the blockage there is those old stories that are running back over there. So I'm, I'm so happy that you've joined me in this, in, in adding your wonderful, powerful words to this question. And I invite you to stop paying attention to what you are saying after that huge declaration of I am. So I am extremely pleased that you played with me, and I am having a wonderful day, and I wish the same for you.